to another Founded on Christ podcast. We want to share our gratitude for those who have subscribed and also those who have shared our little podcast here. Thank you all for joining us on this journey. We want you to come unto Christ and be able to build your testimonies on the rock of our salvation, Jesus Christ, our Savior, our friend, our brother, and be able to return back home and be a forever family. Our hope is to get you to go to the Lord and ask your questions and receive revelation and have his spirit with you when you listen and you learn. So thank you again, everyone. Let us spread kindness, love, and truth to all those that we can. And like always, the invitation is always open for you to send your own testimonies, topics, or anything that you would like to help others understand. Um, You can send them to foundedonchristpodcast at gmail.com. I wanted to start out with the story of the woman who had the blood problem, who touched the Savior's cloak to be healed. And And if you have not, then you need to go to Luke 8, 43 through 48. And I will actually read that for you. And it says, And a woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood stenched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him, before all the people, for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. How impactful and inspiring to me was this woman. We don't know her name or her backstory, but seeing her in a situation in which she had so much faith that by barely touching Christ's robes, she was fully healed. When Christ feels some of his healing light go out of him, do you really think he didn't know who it was who touched him? I think that for her sake and for the love of her, he let her decide to come forward instead of accusing and pointing fingers. It was for her that he let her move forward through those closest to him, to help her with her confidence and truly let her know that her faith had given her the healing she was longing for for 12 years. I think also to set an example to those who were around that if you have faith in me, you can be healed too. I believe also that to have that much faith, she must have had a personal relationship with our Heavenly Parents. Did she realize it? That her faith needed that? Was a result of that? I don't know. But to be healed, at least to me, to have faith that strong, you need to believe there is someone greater. Look at Mahanrai Moriankamer or as most would know him, as the brother of Jared. You, if you don't know who that is, that's, um, this is a person that's in the Book of Mormon. And if you haven't read the Book of Mormon, you should definitely, because it's got wonderful, um, inspiring stories. 
Who did he believe in to have as much faith to see the Lord? Faith has come from somewhere, and I don't think they got it from out of thin air. The Holy Ghost isn't just there to prompt and speak truths. I believe you are what makes that prompting and truth come to fruition. Who is the Holy Ghost? It's definitely someone that you have a deep connection with, who knows how to lead and guide you. Going back to the woman who touched Christ's cloak and was healed, did she have the prompting to go to that area? Did she know Christ was going to be there? What has she heard about him? I believe her relationship with the Holy Ghost put her exactly where she was meant to be in his prompting and her willingness to follow. Our Heavenly Parents are with us in whatever situation we find ourselves in, and through the Holy Ghost, they have that relationship. Christ is there too, helping mediate our lives. He knew glory and light had been taken from Him when the woman touched Him. He came to this earth to help us and direct us in returning home to our parents and our families. He helped the woman move one step closer to home. And it wasn't just him, the Holy Ghost, the woman, and Christ worked together to strengthen her when she had given up. I want to ask, where is your relationship with Christ, the Holy Ghost, and our Heavenly Parents? We won't get anywhere, especially with our faith, if we shut them out. I am so grateful for this opportunity to be able to share my testimony. And it's only one part of my testimony, but I know that it's, um, one of those things that comes from the heart. And when you have faith, you can move mountains. I want to say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.